honestly i've been thinking whose idea was it to finance this movie like whose idea was it hi guys welcome back to my channel so my name is ifa labi and this is another year on a video i mean i wanted to do another video right but then i thought there are so many series like new series and i have to get try and get through all of them so i decided to do this year on a video so yay or nay anyways the video i'm going to do for this week is marvel's inhumans which is showing on abc so let me read the synopsis for the show marvel's inhumans this is a synopsis that's on imdb like the official synopsis so black bolt the enigmatic commanding head of the inhuman royal family and king of atlan adelan possesses a voice so powerful that the slightest whisper can destroy a city after a military coup splinters the family the group which includes black bolt's wife medusa his brother and rival maximus his cousins Kana, Gorgon and Triton and Medusa's sister Crystal barely managed to escape to Hawaii where surprising interactions with the lush world and the humanity around them may prove to not only save them but Earth itself. First of all there's something wrong with like the synopsis because he yeah, mentions Maximus that he's part of the like he's part of the people that have been sent to Hawaii. No he's not he was the mastermind behind the coup. So anyway so far as I've seen it Marvel's Inhumans is about this group of inhumans aka mutants aka people that have special abilities that live on the moon but their city is called Atlan, right and black bolt and medusa is like they they rule the country or the city they rule them through a meritocracy or like in terms of how much inhuman ability are given so how much mutant ability are given so if you can see through the future you are put through this place you know so you are ranked according to your abilities and if you are turned into a human or you have no abilities you are made to work in the mines or like you are made to feel like a cast out so that's what maximus that's black bolt's brother the ken's brother he after the whole they have this ceremony to determine what your abilities are after that ceremony he was made to become a human so i think he wanted to rule the city and because he's human and he doesn't have abilities he about that anger and then decided to do a coup to overthrow his brother because he wanted to get rid he in his like in his words like he wanted to get rid of the whole meritocracy and the whole inhumans thing that's it so my initial thought about the show was that i wanted to try it out because if you had seen like reviews on the show they were like it was a terrible movie like, first of all they showed it on imax so so the first two episodes were shown like on a huge cinema screen you pay 20 dollars to go and watch it but because i'm in ghana they didn't pay for me to watch like they didn't even show it here they didn't even think of us in africa which is all well and good because i hear it was really like i heard the cinema screening was horrible but then i reserved my comments just to watch it because you know sometimes critics and audience they have their own biases towards the movie so going in i had the slightest bit of bias that the, the movie why do i keep on saying movie so i had the slightest bias that the show might not be good or it might blow me away The show though, I don't know. I have so like the show is some way for me. Because first of all, it's supposed to be about you know all these people that have all these abilities. And the only ability she is crystal. Medusa's sister, she can teleport with her dog. And I don't know. Their abilities feel off to me. Like you see, if I watch like an inhuman thing, I suppose to watch like a Marvel thing, I suppose to you know feel you know each person's abilities and what's not. But then it just feels blah. It's just really weird. Like it's just really, really weird. So my initial thoughts about it, like after watching the first two episodes, I was like, wait a minute. And it, it just feels off. And apparently it was supposed to be made into a movie. But then they decided to do it a TV show because they're trying to expand their cinematic universe on TV because they just have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and then the, you know, the Defenders on Netflix. So they decided to uh, expand their universe on, like, broadcast network. But it was horrible. Like, it's terrible. And another reason why I decided to do this review was that the finale is this Friday. And if you're there and you're wondering, hmm, should I give it a try? Don't. Honestly, don't. Like, that's my feel bias. But then the show is all over the place. So my initial thought about it is that the show doesn't have a tone because you don't know if the show is supposed to be funny, if it's supposed to be light-hearted, is it supposed to be grim, is it supposed to be dark, it's all over the place. So sometimes when I watch I'm like, how do these people want me to feel? How am I supposed to feel about this circumstance? Am I supposed to sympathize with black bulls because 
his brother has overthrown him in a coup and right now he's sent to a strange land which is earth am i supposed to you know be angry towards him that he set up this system or he continued the system that oppresses his people so the show they i don't know I, I, it, it doesn't have a tone so it, it made it very hard for me to understand or to get what they wanted me to feel so that's my first thing so my observations the good observation is that it has Ewan Rion and if you guys watch Game of Thrones you know how much in love I am with Ewan Rion because he as Ramsey Bolton was everything but he as Maximus mm, mm, he's okay but the bad I don't know that their CGI their, their effect is just horrible like when they have this huge dog that is supposed to look believable but yet it doesn't look believable the dog doesn't look the effects to make the dog look as part of the scenery does not work. And the shot of Hawaii look off. It's like the set pieces, whoever do the set pieces was having an off day and said, you know what, let's just... Because mm. so, I don't know, the bad, the set is horrible. Medusa's hair, how could I forget about Medusa's hair? So Medusa, if you all know Medusa, her hair, you know, her hair is her glory. And the hair... The weave department, whoever was in charge of hair and makeup should be fired from the show. They made Medusa's hair look horrible. Like, you know, the hair is supposed to be, you know, be her weapon. And it was like, girl, that hair is a travesty. The weapon is what is on your head. Just, you know, so when they shaved it off, I was very excited because the wig it was horrible. And the ugly, the storyline is all over the place. It's The tone is all over the place. I don't, you see, the show... I had so much high hopes for the show because I felt, you know, I've been so much engrossed in DC TV that I feel like I have to, you know, go to Marvel TV because I've been complaining that Marvel shows are not that good apart from the ones on Netflix, but then the ones on broadcast are not that good because DC has Lucifer, Gotham, iZombie, Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, you know, they have all these shows and then you watch Marvel, so, because I, I didn't like Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Marvel's Inhumans is very off. I don't know if there's going to be a season two. I hope there's not going to be a season two. They should use the money to do some other TV show, you know? Give us other characters, because this inhuman character is a no-no for me. So then I'm done with my year on a video. Out of ten, I'll give it a four. Out of five, I'll give it a two. And I'm being generous. I'm honestly, I feel like I'm being generous with the show, because I didn't like it. I don't know if you guys have seen it, and if you guys liked it, because me, Personally, I didn't like it because I'm going to another year on of another Marvel show that's showing on Fox and that's The Gifted. And if you like, if you actually watch that and this is like a vast difference, right? So yeah, no. And if you want to watch a Marvel show, a Marvel movie, don't watch this. Thor Ragnarok just premiered, is in theaters. Watch it and be happy because this show is just no, it's all over the place. So no, 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 yeah or nay, nay. Seriously, nay. Do not watch the show because if you do, you'll be disappointed. And I don't want you guys to be disappointed. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm supposed to be a plot. I'm supposed to steer you in the right direction. So please don't watch that show. So then I'm done. It was supposed to be a short video. I have just told because of the show frustrates me. So my name is Ifo Labi. I'm not subscribed to my channel. What are you waiting for? Honestly, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button. It's right down here or there wherever it is hit the subscribe button leave your comments let me know if you actually watch the show if you watch it or if you just you know they should just throw the whole show away so my name is Ifwa check out my other videos that are going to be here and I'll see you on my next video